dear friends this is my fifth video on stock market strategies and techniques you might have heard of warren buffet <coughs> the greatest investor on stock market he says he started his investing career at the age 11 and uh, he was laid by 11 years that's what he says <clears throat> there are so many successful investors all over uh, the globe and in india too in india ramesh damani rakesh dindunwala so many people parinzu veliyat nilesha ramdev agarwal so many very successful investors are there and uh, you know one thing common about them is all of them are first generation investors they started in their own generation it's not that their fathers were investors and they also continued their family business no most of them were first time investors and they succeeded a lot which means you and i also can succeed like that when should we start investing so that's one of the first questions to start investing as early as possible the moment you become an income earner you must start investing in the stock market many people in india are afraid of the stock market they consider it as a gambling den it's not the unfortunate thing is because of such misconceptions only india is still a uh, country suffering under development hardly 1% of the people have invested in the stock market and therefore the number of companies investable are uh, about 4000 5000 listed on the stock market <coughs> now we need uh, 10 times more that number we need 25% of the people investing in the stock market so which means all of you must become investors in the stock market learn about the stock market it is learning about stock market is love just like learning about history economy economics geography mathematics physics whatever much easier now just take the example of warren buffett if he could uh, invest at the age 11 can you not do it at your age so it is easy do not be afraid of the stock market there is a great saying i have uh, been repeating it often if you are born poor there is no problem that's not your uh, sin but if you die poor that is definitely your mistake in stock market is the easiest way everybody can start a business everybody can uh, start a company there are people who are uh, capable of doing that like mukesh ambani etc but we are capable of investing in those profitable companies the government gives us an opportunity to make riches by investing in stock market and if we don't use it uh, that's a mistake now having said that i hope all of you will start investing at the earliest don't delay don't delay your decisions learn about the stock market and start investing in the stock market i am not asking anybody to get away from the stock market saying it is risky there is risk no doubt but that's a affordable risk therefore coming to the stock market and make your riches now in stock market there are three decisions to make buy hold sell buy decision is the most important decision followed by hold and that followed by sell now what to buy in the stock market shares of uh, progressive companies good companies that's what you are going to buy now before that take care of your uh, personal economy just uh, analyze how much you can invest in the stock market on a regular basis on a monthly basis 
all people may not be able to uh, invest uh, regularly on a monthly basis but as far as possible try to invest on a regular monthly basis that would be the best way to invest now talk to your people your parents your spouse your children make out a budget whatever is needed for the family set apart balance is for investment let it be decided by the family the family will not regret that decision after they have seen the profits that accrued through these investments in many families that's happening in certain communities they all understand the benefits of investments in certain com- communities they don't understand they are afraid that fear factor should go now assume that uh, you have started investing with the uh, 10% of your monthly income maybe at the lower levels it may be 10% uh, if you are comfortable with your income it may grow up to 25% 30% or even more <coughs> now that is the amount that you are going to set apart for investment on a regular basis so this is the first decision making the family agree when the family agrees you have lots of advantages they will also start looking for uh, good companies profitable companies they will also start understand india the <coughs> uh, pressure on you against investment will go now what to buy again we'll come back to that so you will need to understand the structure of indian economy the way companies are structured or the economy is structured which sector is progressing fast which sector is lagging behind of the progressive sectors how many companies are there how they are faring each of them it's not necessary that in a very progressive sector also all the companies should be progressing there is no guarantee for that now there you will have to look at the promoters efficient promoters some promoters are uh, very efficient in taking their money forward so they will invest in their company a uh, lot of money now therefore look for the share of the promoters in the company if it is 10% or 20% something like that it's not very attractive but if it is 60% 70% etc if the promote that means promoter is confident of his company therefore you can invest in the company so promoter stake is one of the most important uh, parameters you will have to look for uh, in a company <coughs> the promoter's capability so that is another thing that you will have to look at whether the promoters are always trying for expanding the companies uh, uh, improving the capacity utilization and improving the economies of scale and so on in other words they want to grow now if you are part of that company the promoter of which wants to grow very fast you will also grow so choose a management which is progressive which is ambitious now you catch hold of his tail he will drag you along with his tail it is as simple as that there are many companies whose managements are very progressive especially the chief executive is very progressive <coughs> chairman or chief executive therefore the first consideration in buying the shares of a company is the quality of the management quality of the chief executive <coughs> and chair their stake in the company whether they are increasing the stake so this is the first consideration that you will have to see in uh, uh, choosing a company for your investment the second is <coughs> 
how the company has been faring in the last uh, three, four, five years. Assume that it has a track record of four to five years. Some companies may be more recent companies. They may have a track record of one or two or three years. Now, in India, you have uh, more than 4,000 uh, listed companies. Therefore, you can choose uh, companies with some track record. It's always not necessary that a company should have five years, six years track record. Say, two, three years uh, efficient track record. It will also do. <coughs> assume that a company which you are looking at has a track record of five years. Look at the profit and loss accounts and balance sheets of uh, the company for the last four or five years. It's not necessary that you should become an accountant for that purpose. I'm giving you small tips. Look at the net sales column. Look at the net profits column. This is called top line and bottom line. Top line is the net sales. Bottom line is the net profits. In all the five years, how the sales have been increasing, how the profits have been increasing. If the sales have been increasing consistently and the profits have been increasing consistently at a rate more than the sales. Sales are increasing, let us say, at the rate of 15%. The profits are increasing at the rate of 20%. Then the profit margin has been increasing all the while. I think you understand this much. The top line and the bottom line, if you can locate them in the profit and loss account and satisfy yourself that the sales have been increasing and the net profits have been increasing and the net profits have been increasing at a rate higher than the net sales. You are already on track to understand and evaluate the companies. There are many other parameters like the price earning ratio, price to book ratio, cash flow analysis and so many other things. <coughs> we will see that later. Now, assuming that the shares, the sales and the net profits are good, go to the company's products. In which sectors are these products are used? and whether the company is expanding those products, whether the capacity utilization is increasing, that you will get from the annual reports. In the annual reports, you will find the capacity utilization of the company's products. You can see that. And whether the capacity itself has been increased. Capacity utilization is one thing, say 70% uh, of the installed capacity. 80% of the installed capacity at which the company is running now. The second factor is whether the company is willing to expand the capacity itself. That decision shows whether the company is anticipating higher demand for the company's products. Now, if the company is growing and expecting to grow in the future, your investment in the company will also grow multifold. This is the basic philosophy of investment. I hope in this lecture you have got a few good tips for enabling you to look at the companies which you want to buy more intelligently and make a considered balanced decision. We will go with this logic on this journey and we will make our journey a very profitable journey. Thank you.